Now, let me see the fourth rule of integration. If we have two or three function plus or minus, so we can split to be two or three function. For the example, let me see the question. If integrate x plus x square dx, so we can split to be two integral, where is integrate x dx plus integrate x square dx. So we can solve it one by one. So we get x square over two plus x cube over three plus c. Let we see one more example. Let's say integrate 4x cubed plus 2x minus 5x to the power of 4 dx. So, because this one is plus and minus, so we can split to be 3 integral. Integrate 4x cubed dx plus integrate 2x dx minus integrate 5x to the power of 4 dx. So, we can solve it 1 by 1. So, we get 4x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x square over 2 minus 5x to the power of 4 over over 5 okay sorry 5x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c so simplify we can get x to the power of 4 plus x square minus x to the power of 5 plus c okay and we see the question about the integration. The first one is, if two function times dx, so we can, is not equal, split. We cannot split if this two function is times. That's the first question. The second one is, if two function times, so we cannot put outside either 1, either f or g out of the integral because f is a function, g also is a function. The third question is, if integrate fx over gx dx, also we cannot separate 1 by 1, integral fx divided by integral gx dx. Okay, that's the three questions you must remember. Okay, let me see the example, all the example about the integration. Find the following integrals. Okay, the one, okay, this one is all the rules of integration. So, to solve A, integrate 3, 3 is a constant. Okay, so integrate constant dx, so the answer is we get 3x plus c. Okay, for the B, if we see B, the rules of integration, we have the power x to the power of 6 dx. So, the solution is x to the power of 7 over 7 plus C. Same case for the question C. So, 1 over set x, we can write in the form of indices. So, we can write x to the power of negative 1 over 2 dx. So, using the rules of integration, so we can get x to the power of negative 1 of 2 plus 1, we get 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c and then we simplify, we can get 2 and then this one is set x plus c. That's the example 1. Okay, now let me see the example 2. Find the following integrals. Okay, for question A, negative 2 is a concern we put out of the integral. And then this one, set x, we can write x to the power of 1 over 2 dx. So, we can solve the question. 
So, x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1, we can get 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 and then plus c. And then we simplify the answer, we can get negative 4 over 3. This one is x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, now let me solve for the example 2b. Okay, so this question, if you see now, this one is using y. Okay, so 3 is a constant. So we put out of the integral 3. This one we write 2y plus 1 to the power of 2 over 3 dy. So integrate with respect to y. 3 is constant. So this one we write 2y plus 1 to the power of 2 over 3 plus 1. We get 5 over 3 divided by 5 over 3 times differentiate 2y plus 1 with respect to y. So we get 2 okay, and then this one plus c. Okay. Finally, we see Simplify, so we can get is equal to okay, 9 over 10. This one is 2y plus 1 to the power of 5 over 3 plus c. So that's the answer for the example 2b. Next, we see the question c. If the question asks you to integrate 4x plus 1 over 2x cubed dx. Okay, so the solution is we can separate. Okay, simplify. So, we solve the question first. Okay, split it to be integrate 4x over 2x cubed plus 1 over 2x cubed dx. Okay, we can solve 1 by 1. Okay, so this one we simplify. We get also we simplify of x. So we can get 2 over x square integrate. Okay, this one is dx plus 1 over 2 integrate x to the power of negative 3 dx. Okay, all the constant we can put of the integral. So, 2 integrate x to the power of negative 2 dx plus 1 over 2 x to the power of negative 3 dx. So, we integrate it, we get 2, this one is x to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus this one is 1 over 2 x to the power of negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. Finally, we simplify the answer so we can get negative 2 over x. This one is minus 1 over 4x square plus C. That's the solution for the C.